Hello everybody, how are you doing? Uh, just rolled in from work. Um, I have not been in the shop or in the garage working on the car uh, since Saturday. I did work a little bit on a model with my son on Sunday, uh, but Sunday I started feeling really, really bad and I've got this uh, upper respiratory thing that's been going around and boy, oh boy, Monday and Tuesday were rough. Today, my fever broke yesterday. Today, I feel a little better. I'm really tired, kind of losing my voice. I've, I've got a cough drop in right now to kind of soothe my throat, a little bit of a cough. Uh, I'm on the uphill side. Unfortunately, my wife is now on the downhill side. I do have some good news though. Good news is the intake manifold cover came in from A1 Auto and I am impressed. I bought the gasket, which is this part here, this part here, and then you can't really see it too well, but there's a little O-ring there and an O-ring on this piece, and it was $54. This was $77.95. It not only came with all the gaskets, it came with the replacement parts, so I get brand new parts, as well as this little uh, hose right here that goes inside of the uh, cover. I forget what it's called, but it's in the paperwork. It comes with paperwork that has the bolt tightening instructions on it, and not to mention, A1 Auto has a video on their website. I was using it to uh, work through removing this, which is fantastic. So for like 20 some dollars more than the gaskets cost me from the local auto parts store, I got everything. <laughs> and, and I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, I wish I could return my gaskets, but I'd be willing to bet you that when I broke the intake manifold, one of the feet, and I'll show you what I mean when I broke one of the feet. Where the bolts go in right here, as I cranked it down, this part here almost broke completely off. It's cracked all the way across the back. So I'm sure that means that I probably crushed the gasket and it's probably not replaceable. Uh, I will pay closer attention to A1 Auto in the future because these repairs have all been planned repairs, uh, with the exception of having to order this, but that was my fault. Um, and good news, I was able to borrow a working torque wrench. And listen to this. You hear that? It's set for 22 inch pounds of torque and it's breaking at 22 inch pounds of torque. This is a snap-on, which is a really good wrench. Um, it belongs to the company I work for and I went and saw the maintenance manager and he got it out and loaned it to me. They, they don't use it that often uh, because most of what we do is, is heavy duty stuff, so it's foot pounds. So uh, he let me borrow it through the weekend. I gotta take it back on Monday. I probably will do this job on, on uh, Saturday. I initially thought I would come out to the garage tonight and maybe kind of get started on it because I was feeling a little better. Um, but my daughter is actually in the van right now. I walked in the door. She's like, Dad, my homework's almost done. I want to go shoot at the shooting range. So we're, we're heading up to the uh, archery range. And I'm going to let her shoot a few arrows because they have a tournament this weekend on Saturday. And then on Sunday, they have qualifying for state, the state team. So she's pretty stoked and she's, she's pretty dang driven and uh, she wants to get some practice in. So um, I just want to give you guys an update and let you know why I hadn't been around for a while, let you know where things are. We're gonna get this finished up on Saturday. I hope to get some time on Sunday to maybe work in the shop a little bit. I'm hoping I'm feeling really better. Um, you know, you can probably hear my voice. It sounds a little odd, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I wanna thank you for hanging out with me and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Take care, everybody.